imagine someone tells you well you know what uh, I can tell you your future what's the true answer if someone were to tell you I can tell you your future what are you going to tell them I don't want to know it and I don't believe you know it and even if you think you know it you don't I remember a friend a friend of mine and I've said this before some of you might have heard it he was at an airport and there was a guy who comes up to him he was walking with his wife he says I can tell you your future for $70 he says I don't want to know it I can tell you your future for $70 and he kept walking with them you know in some countries people are insisting on selling you something they walk for a mile with you and they want to sell you these things I don't know if you've seen that in some countries I'll tell you your future for 70 bucks I don't want to know it he kept walking he kept walking I tell you your future for 50 dollars he kept walking I tell you your future for 30 dollars he kept walking and then there came a time when he sat down with his wife and he was now you know ready to to fly out and this guy comes and sits next to him and says I tell you your future for five bucks you're gonna live for 70 years and this and this and he started rattling things this guy is not interested I'm not interested in what you're telling me I don't want to know when he finishes he says right give me my five dollars he says look I didn't want to know anything you owe me five bucks I told you your future he says listen if you didn't even know that I'm not going to give you five dollars how would you know my future simple right you didn't even know the five bucks is not coming in your direction and you want to come and tell me I can tell you what's gonna happen you're dying in 70 years forget about 70 years the next seven minutes you don't know <laughs> so the same applies with these fortune tellers of the time you know Allah Almighty says shaitan says uh, 99 lies and gives throws one truth at you throws one truth at you so you're really confused because you think oh wow that's so true you know that's so true and then you start believing the lies as well and he makes a fool of you and a mockery of everyone he says to the Pharaoh the fortune teller that someone is going to take this kingdom away from you who is he well he's a boy born to Banu Israel and he will be born one of the odd years well I'm gonna kill them he says you can do that so this guy comes and starts killing Musa alayhi salam against all odds. When Allah wants something, nothing can stop it. You need to know that if the entire nation gets together to harm you, they will never be able to harm you except with that which Allah has written against you.